And that's kind of like the Slutsky way of calculating the substitution of x. But there's another way. And if you took first year with me, this, this is, is going to seem um, more familiar. Maybe. Uh, another sub event. So another way to calculate the sub event. So we can think of another way of holding a purchasing power constant, which is going to be keeping the utility constant. price of good one and the new choice. So this is point A we've been saying, x1 star. This is point B, x1 star star. And now instead of shifting this line down so it just passes through A, we're going to shift this line down so it just touches the old indifference curve. I'm going to just draw this a little bit better. And so I'm going to take this purple line and I'm going to shift it down until it just touches the old indifference curve. Let's say it happens right around there. And that's x1 prime. Now this is going to be the sub effect. Just like before, x1 started at x1 prime. And the rest of it is the income effect. So this part is the income. So it's the same idea here, but instead of drawing a new line that just passes through point A, we're drawing a parallel budget constraint. You know, it's parallel to the new budget constraint, so it has the same relative prices, but it just touches the old utility curve. And so that kind of means we're, we're going to compensate people enough to be just as happy as they were before, so to speak, you know, if we're, if we're saying utilities happiness. Um, they, they're getting a bundle that they're indifferent towards the original bundle that they were consuming. So instead of just being able to buy, just being able to afford the same bundle they usually had, now we're, they're going to purchase a different bundle, but it's going to make them kind of just as happy as they were before. And that's how we're thinking about, or that's how Hicks is thinking about holding purchasing power constant. So this is just like a different kind of substitution effect. A different way of calculating a substitution effect, and, and it's obviously going to result in a different uh, income effect as well, because the substitution effect will be slightly different. So this is kind of what, if you're in my sections, you kind of learned about last year when we talked about the sub effect. So this might be more familiar to you. 